Hey guys, I'm Rob. This is Little Man Cave on the Prairie. Just cleaning up the house there. We're gonna redo it. We're gonna get at that, uh, that donut gasket in the front of the floor door here today. So the uh, donut gasket is right down there at the end of the manifold uh, where it uh, turns into your exhaust. Um, these things can break all the time. So the first thing I did is I sprayed it down. And what I sprayed it down with um, is this. Um, it seems to work really well. It's not your typical WD-40. It's, uh, it's really good. Um, anything that I've tried it on, it... Uh, I haven't broken anything whenever I use it, so um, you guys can try this, or if you have your favorite, you know, go to it and, and try it. And uh, But the thing is, is that what I did is I sprayed those two days ago, uh, top and bottom, and the middle, uh, where the flanges go together, and then one day ago, I re-sprayed -spray it again. So, and just letting giving it time to do what it needs to do, which is seep inside as far as it can, right? But uh, this stuff seems to work perfect. If you look here, I have completely dismantled the, the dovetail buggy. Um, I'm pulling out the front axle and uh, as you can see, a lot's been done and I haven't broken one bolt on this. Not a screw, not a bolt, nothing. Just by being patient, giving it a couple days, spraying with that stuff, and it worked. So, I, I do like that stuff. I guess that's my go-to stuff, because when I went and used the uh, regular WD-40 on this one, well, a lot of stuff broke. And I had to replace it. So, it's just just a heads up to use a good penetrating oil, I guess. Okay, so I moved it actually out to the street so I could get a jack on it and not it, it's pretty wet around here and this is all topsoil so it's not gonna figure to get it up and on something hard so there's no problems. And I got a couple jack stands too, just as backups. Okay, so there it is, a little bit better light to see it. Now you can see how much greasier that looks than just normal WD-40 so I'm gonna jack it up and then get the impact on it and we'll see what happens. Okay, got her all jacked up and uh, just got some backups across the frame there. Now I can slide underneath and uh, hit at it. Okay so now I have my 14 a uh, couple extensions so I can get underneath and uh, get at it so I'm just gonna crawl over and do that. Trying to get this, it's a little bit harder than... Okay, so the impact didn't work. Um, it's only a plug-in, like a 110 impact. It's not an air impact, so it's not as strong, so. Okay, so, leverage. Okay, so that worked. Hit it with a uh, little bit of leverage. Uh, it wasn't very nice, but uh, I cracked it and then just hit it up with the electric impact. Uh, I did have to throw quite a few extensions on there, but it worked. Uh, got her out. Uh, this was the easier of the two. The, the other one, I'm going to go try right after. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, got both of them out. Um, the one on the outside, I did have to use this, but uh, just to get the socket on there. But both of them came out, no problems. Uh, so yeah, this is my stuff that I like. I guess uh, everybody's got their favorites, but uh, that's a '98 that had a head gasket removed. So some pretty good heat, I'm gonna say, went through that. Um, you know, 
moisture over the years and stuff like that they are you know pretty rusted but the threads don't look that bad so I wouldn't say these are you know gonna be the same as say a 73 Chev or something like that that hasn't been touched but that's a win so we'll get at the donut now okay so uh, here's the part uh, okay there we go uh, you can see it's metal on the inside and it's got a crushable fiber on the outside I'm assuming um, so we're going to slap that in dead center, tighten her back up, and uh, yeah. Uh, this was about, I think it was, it was under $10 Canadian, so, you know, like 12 cents American. Okay, so, oh, sorry, I'm kind of, I'm six foot five, so like, I don't fit well in a lot of places. Uh, okay. on the spring system too so now we just pull that kind of out of the way there actually wasn't a gasket here uh, but remember that this was uh, bought for $300 you know it's, it's a runner it's a driver and it uh, the guy that owned it before me had to change a head gasket on it so uh, it was pretty much just changed and then he was moving and had to get rid of the, the project right so I'm just assuming like there's a couple other things that I gotta do to this thing to you know get stuff all done but uh, he probably just you know fixed it so that it fires up which he told me everything about and you know was very honest with me and very helpful getting it loaded on the trailer and everything like that and uh, yeah so I'm expecting to have to look over my $300 rig obviously you know like it's a three hundred dollar rig you're gonna look over everything but anyways uh so gasket phone won't focus of course we're just gonna slide that up and in to the bottom get it set in where it needs to go Just slide it back up in. We're gonna put the bolts back in, tighten them up, and that is that. Uh, I can't hold the camera and uh, get everything in, so more or less I'm just telling you I'm putting in two bolts. So there we have it, guys. Everything's in. Um, works fine. Well, it's got to work a lot better. There was nothing in there. But, uh, I did start it up and it, and it was still loud, so I was like, what, what the heck? And I started scoping around, and as I started looking around, I found this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but, uh, let's see, right here, that's a bracket to hold the manifold, exhaust manifold, and it's not in there. So what's happening is uh, it's pushed out at the bottom too much and it's leaving the bottom of my manifold just blowing out. Uh, you know, and I'm sure the guy just made a mistake and just didn't notice it. So I'm going to do that. That's not part of this video though. I'm just going to loosen everything off, uh, bring that down, slide it in, find a nut for it. I also noticed that the, it is missing uh, the last uh, bolt on... Um, towards the firewall so I'm gonna slap one in there and uh, that should be a fix um, but that's you know the video for the donut gasket is you know that's it it wasn't too hard uh, I was really glad that I didn't break anything so the uh, the old professional uh, lube from WD-40 gets a thumbs up for me for sure uh, these and your body mount bolts are probably the, the biggest ones that break and the exhaust manifold like they're they're usually kind of not good to take out uh, and always have replacements just because type thing but thanks for watching uh, if you guys get something out of this stuff make sure you hit the subscribe button 
hit the bell and we'll get more out to you. Cheers, guys.